One of the great kingdoms in East Africa in early times was that of the Acholi, who live in the northern region of Uganda. They have a fascinating history and lived through a period of a series of invasions and migrations of various peoples, which resulted in the present highly diversified population with different cultures and social practices. We have very little recorded music of the Acholi, but fortunately we do have two authentic Acholi folk songs that were taped by VOA reporter Lee Nichols during an interview with the famous Ugandan poet and writer Okat Bitek. Okat Bitek is a giant in African letters and is well known not only in East Africa but throughout the literary world as an interpreter of African tradition. Even the two short songs in this recording by Okat Bitek give us an insight of the musical traditions of the Acholi. This is an attack by children uh, on their mothers. Um, uh, the, the translation is roughly, Mother always cooks very late at night. Mother always cooks so late at night. Before the food is ready, she says, Oh, take your brother to play outside. But as soon as she's finished cooking, she shouts at me and says, Bring back my child, you useless little thing. You'll make him fall and break his back. And, and then, of course, there's the, the, the rain falling. Touch, touch. Mm. Um, the, the other thing, of course, is that uh, sometimes this is sung... Um, with the um, uh, with the dove, the dove goes touch, 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 and the children go lulu ye katrela katoch, touch lulu. So you have nature and man, you know, doing perfect poetry. I think the dove just sits there because it's also also enjoying it. So. Men Latin no mama did a diwodo. Men on you where mama did a diwodo. On then on the old check we in the killer gear, a cock into with a coreba. On then on the booty on the tail, Latin catuco to no. Men on you where did a diwoyo. Men Latin one eat did a diwodo. On then on the old check we in the killer gear, a cock into with a coreba. You should be asleep by now. Very useless. <laughs> that was very nice. I like this next tune by Okat Pitek also and the way he describes what the song is about. Yeah, this is, this is a funeral uh, song, and um, I think it expresses these people's view of life and death. It's a very different thing from the Christian approach to, 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 to life and death, because I think for the Christian, um, you know, death is a gateway to some, some place upstairs, you know where people play the organ and have a nice time praying and praising somebody, some old man. Uh, <laughs> but um, this, this, this is a terrible uh, um, song in which um, the, the, the living want really to, 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 to go to death's mother's home and, and destroy it because death has killed their son or something. So the, the English translation says, Fire rages at Laima. Oh, fire rages in the valley of River Chumu. Everything is utterly, utterly destroyed. Oh, my daughter, if I could reach the homestead of death's mother, I would make a long grass torch. If I could reach the homestead of death's mother, I would destroy everything utterly, utterly like the fire that rages at Laima, like the, fi the fire that rages in the valley of River Chumu. Mm -hmm. I think I think the word is extremely important. This is to to destroy thoroughly, you know. Um, but the word is so you see here you have this uh, hopeless people, very angry, not knowing what to do about this thing and wishing 
that they they could visit they could visit the village of death's mother you know and and destroy everything that was uganda's most famous poet and writer okat bitek with two folk songs of his people the acholi